We've played at Hesketh Park for just over 100 years now. The club's been around since around 1727. That's when we claim to have, have been formed. The pavilion we've got wasn't really purpose-built as a pavilion. It's two huts that were used as barracks in the war. What can you do with that? The council had a report done 10, 15 years ago that basically said it was beyond economic repair. So bottom line is we need a new one. I was given the challenge, if we gave you a million pounds, could you build a pavilion? First phone call I made was to Steve and said, could you build me a pavilion for a million pounds? He laughed and said, I could build you a very good one for a million pounds. They chose us largely, I think, because of our experience of building sports buildings, but also because we were coming at it with a really quite fresh look. They wanted a very contemporary building and one that was innovative and one that really tried to push some barriers. They've been building buildings like this since the late 50s, so we're way behind, and seeing exactly what you can produce was incredibly exciting, very much influenced the final design. We've been doing a lot of work over the last two or three years looking at sustainable design, looking at different products that we can actually bring to the UK market. We also felt they would be less expensive to build and very energy efficient and therefore cheaper to run when they, when they were constructed. Doing that was incredible structural capability so you could have a large span roof like we have here which is high volume and you haven't got the need for many columns and stuff that you would need in traditional construction which means that you can really open up the space. Every single main element of the construction work we actually sent out to local tender. Different companies to take on different elements of the project. So a building for the local people, built by the local people, managed obviously by ourselves. We had uh, a number of break-ins during the course of the project, one of which uh, caused so much damage it held us back by about a month. So that meant with the strict deadlines in place, we were working long hours just to make up the loss of time. But we got there and it was all open, ready for the start of the cricket season, ready for the big dinners that were all planned for many months. It looks stunning, it's worked brilliantly and everybody is very excited about it. One of the highlights was actually seeing all the tables out and the lights on, the music playing and people in the tuxes having a glass of champagne and just feeling incredibly proud that we, we got there and we finished it and, and the place looked amazing. We did look at an awful lot of other designs and an awful lot of other companies who want to deliver this project because it's a, a major project and very visible right in the heart of the town. But what we found with them is that very few of them seem to understand how specialised a sports clubhouse needed to be. And of course, when you come across a company that's got a name like uh, sports clubhouses, you hope they will understand, and they absolutely did. And they understood that we needed a building that didn't have an ounce of fat on it. It had to run for the sport and for the club didn't need to be a building that they were going to have lots of trouble maintaining. It needed to be a really, really classy, straightforward building. And so that's what we've done, and I, I couldn't be more thrilled with it. This team has been fantastic to work, work with. This team is fantastic. You know, people have been working long, long hours to make this happen. And I'm truly grateful, Steve, to you and your team for everything you've done. It's really proving to be already incredibly good from a finance point of view, much better than the club ever realised. It's given them a heart and a soul now and it's given them the financial resources that they can plough into their cricket delivery throughout the borough. So it's a win-win for everybody. On a Saturday night, this place is absolutely buzzing, whereas probably over the last few years, as with many clubs, the, the social side has been sort of tailing away a bit. So I think that's, that's really exciting. The club's delivery and the whole club's well-being is now you know, really moving forward as, uh, uh, because of the building, so that's really important for us.